Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking transition from plank to down dog and back to plank. So we've discussed all our, not so much modifications, but all the things that we should be taking note of for down dog. We've talked about the different modifications that we can use in plank. And we want to now start transitioning from one to the other so that we can start adding that into our flow. Many people think the transition from plank to downward facing dog is difficult. It does require a little bit of upper body strength. So I won't kid you. There's a little bit of work to be had in the upper body. And that's why we like to use it because we want to encourage strength building exercises into our daily life. So we'll talk about just the transition here. That's what today's video is really all about. So I'm going to start in tabletop. So again, in our tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, And that's really just a nice place to get the hands in my optimal position because I want to have good, strong hands as I'm transitioning from plank to downward facing dog. If your foundation in your hands is all off, it's going to be painful in the wrist and you're going to fatigue much sooner than you should. So make sure that your hands are in your perfect spot for today. And then I'm going to quickly just transition to our half plank. Now, very similar to our low lunge, going into our full crescent lunge, from your half plank to transition into downward facing dog, you know what's going to happen. You're going to need to lift your knees. So technically, you are kind of moving through a full plank to get to your downward facing dog. I hope that makes sense. From half plank to get to downward facing dog, I need to lift my knees, take my tail up to the sky to transition to my downward facing dog. Yeah? Right away, I'm going to make those adjustments. My feet right away probably have to take an adjustment. Hands adjust. Actually, let me rephrase that. Shoulders, triceps adjust. My hands really shouldn't have to move. So there's my downward facing dog lengthening the spine first. And again, as I progress into my flow and I keep doing more downward facing dogs, it's going to change. From my downward facing dog, all I'm going to do is shift those shoulders forward so that they're over my hands. And now I'm back into plank, yeah? Now, I might notice that I can't do that. I'm in downward facing dog and I try to come forward and I can't do it. My shoulders can't hold me yet. You're going to come down to your half plank. Yeah, I'll demonstrate. Okay, I'm in my down dog. I'm trying to come forward and I notice, oh my God, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I'm, just, I'm going to just keep going and drop my knees. So I'm taking the weight and I'm redistributing it. So now my half plank should be much easier than my full plank. However, to get back, I need to do a little bit of work. I need to lift the knees, pike my tail. There's my downward facing dog. I'm going to try to come forward, even if it's for a split second. There's my plank. Oh, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. There's my knees. There's my half plank. Back to plank. Downward facing dog. 
So you can use this transition, plank, downward facing dog, plank, downward facing dog, plank, downward facing dog. dog. You can use those two poses and work on strengthening shoulders, upper body. Many of us are not strong enough yet in our shoulders. Those two poses are really good for working upper body. So even if it's half plank, downward facing dog, half plank, downward facing dog, eventually that transition through full plank that you're only able to hold for a split second the first time you try it, eventually you can hold it for a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Yeah. So that transition, downward facing dog, plank, that is also what we're going to start incorporating into our flows. So you'll notice, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Yes, at the beginning, they're hard. You're going to notice, I need a break. I need to go back into child's pose. I need to take a drink. I need to uh, take the weight out. Fine, take those breaks, take those breaks. But eventually, as we start putting them into our flow, you will notice that you can hold, let's say your downward facing dog for a little bit longer. And then here, as you're transitioning, okay, hey, maybe I can hold my plank for a little bit longer before I have to drop my knees. And don't worry if that's not the case for you right away. If you need your half plank for longer, that's fine. Even if it's days, weeks, who cares? Work on triceps rolling. Shoulders away from the ears, drawing that belly button up. And then as you transition to your down dog, and you transition back and forth, even here, you are building strength in the shoulders. So as you're moving from these to even half plank to downward facing dog, watch what's happening to the shoulders. Are you scrunching up? If you're constantly scrunching up, you are going to be um, fatigued much sooner than you actually are. You're going to get tired sooner. So we want to build strength. Eventually, that full plank, down dog, full plank, down dog, is going to become easier and easier. And you're going to notice oh, so much more strength is going to come into the upper body. But give yourself permission to use that half plank whenever you need. Don't uh, kind of get into that mindset, oh, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to have that full plank. You may not be there yet. You may not have the strength. So use that half plank as your stepping stone. You're building up strength. Use it as long as you need. Um, Don't be afraid to take that regression, that step back. Instead of giving up completely and say, oh, I can't do it. I can't do down dog. I can't do plank. Use the modifications. And that's what I'm constantly talking to you about. And that's what these tutorials are all about is finding the modification that's going to work for you at that moment. Because as you build your strength, you're going to be like, oh, I don't need that half plank variation anymore because I can do full. But if you're not there yet, you need that other thing. What other thing can I use? What can I do in the meantime? So you might be thinking, oh, yeah, these tutorials are like, well, yeah, yeah. But we need them because sometimes, you know, let's say... The day before you did, were, you come to your practice and the day before you did a lot of leg exercises or you did a lot of activity that required um, a lot of legs. So you're going to notice that your legs are going to perform differently. Same thing goes for shoulders. It really depends on 
what you've been doing previous to your practice. So when we have all of those different modifications in our toolbox, then we can adjust our flow uh, accordingly. So you'll find patterns. You'll find, oh, I don't really need that. I don't need that. I, I don't need that. I like this one. I like this one. I can do this one. And the idea is to slowly progress into this example, let's say, progress out of half plank into a full plank more often. That doesn't necessarily mean I can't ever go back to half plank. Sure, use it when you need it. Yeah. So, uh, transition from plank to downward facing dog. The big take home points in your plank position, your shoulders are over your hands. And in Downward Facing Dog, those shoulders push back behind your wrists. So the angle here of my hands is different than in a plank position. So again, Downward Facing Dog, long spine, shoulders behind my wrists. Plank, shoulders over the wrists. Watch in your plank that you're not here. This is a really funny, awkward, I don't know, in-betweener. So in your plank, a straight line from shoulders to bum. And then from bum down to my heels, there's a little bit of an angle downward, right? In my downward facing dog, the long line between hands and tailbone. And then your legs eventually straighten but you might notice that you will need a bend to get that long line in your spine. So we're going to start putting that into our flows. (laughs) All right, that's it for today. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.